Welcome to Leah's Baking Corner's very first tutorial video. This is Maria saying hello. Today we are making banana cake. These are my ingredients, a stand mixer, my tools. We need to preheat the oven to 180 degrees or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we need to grease a loaf pan, like this one. You can grease it by using butter, baking paper, parchment paper, or non-stick cooking spray. I'm using canola cooking spray. Lightly spray. Leave it aside to use for later. We need 125 grams of butter put into your mixing bowl. Mix it until it is light and fluffy or near to. Next, you will need a stainless steel bowl. Butter still mixing. You can use unsalted butter or normal butter, it's up to you. Now you need to crack two eggs in the stainless steel bowl and whisk it up. Just lightly whisk it. That doesn't look lightly, but it sure is. Pour it in the bowl. Mix it for about 10 seconds, turn it off, get your spatula, you always need one handy to scrape the sides of the bowl so it mixes all together nicely. That's 140 grams of soft brown sugar, 250 grams of all-purpose flour, also needing one teaspoon of baking powder that I forgot to add, but please do add it. And that is my cinnamon sugar, or you can use, sorry, not cinnamon sugar, 
um, cinnamon honey. Or you can use normal honey and put cinnamon. And we also need the one wrap and banana. The banana needs to be mashed. So have a masher available ready. Now, was, now we need to have two tablespoons of honey in a saucepan so we can melt it. That's one. This is our second. This is what cinnamon honey looks like. It is brown. If you were to use plain honey, you would put one teaspoon or a teaspoon and a half of cinnamon. Depending if you like cinnamon or not, put more or put less. Put it on a medium to high heat and melt it for about 30 seconds or so or until it is fully melted. You need to melt it so it is not sticky when you pour it into your mixture. And it also mixes much easier. It melts quite quickly. It looks just as good to eat just like that. I reckon anyway. I love putting it on toast in breakfast. Now we pour it in our mixture that we've been making. See how it pours? very nicely and it's not all sticky it's nice and runny that's how we need it now mix that until it's all combined it will go a brownie color a sort of lighty brown Now we need to mash the wine ripened banana. We use a ripened banana because non-ripened bananas are still hard and it's not as soft. Because the banana needs to be soft, that's why it needs to be ripened. Preferably a banana that is slightly going brown. Now we pour that in. Into the mixture using a spatula or a wooden spoon. Once that is in, mix it all together till it's combined. It is good to mix every ingredient 
together separately. So you know it is 100% combined well. Once that is done, we take our K blade off and put a sieve. We take the K blade off so it doesn't drip into the sieve. Now we add our all-purpose flour, 250 grams. Then we put our blade back on and whiz it up again. And make sure you click the blade on tightly because, like you saw, it falls off. Put it on a low speed so the flour doesn't fly everywhere. Mix it. And I tap the bowl so the flour goes inside the mixture. And mix until, well, combined. Now that that is done, you put your soft brown sugar, 140 grams. Look at how well that is mixed. It looks delicious. Mix it for a, a bit longer. Just to make sure everything has mixed through. Scrape the sides of the bowl. This is a very good tip. In anything you make, if it's cakes, dough, cookies, scraping the sides of the bowl is good. So the mixture always goes in and it combines well. Now lifting the Lifting your lid of your stand mixer, making sure it's on so it falls off nicely. Tap the excess off, your K blade, take it off. And now it's time to pour your batter into your pan. Spread it evenly. And put it in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes. Use a skewer to pierce it and if it comes out clean, that's when it's cooked. Thanks for watching. Bye.